Uh, hey guys, so here it is. Let's just get straight into it. This is the top 10 list of the inbuilt SOLIDWORKS tutorials that you should do as a beginner starting SOLIDWORKS. Number one, lesson one, parts. It's gonna give you a quick introduction to some of the basics of creating a part, doing a sketch, doing an extrude, saving the file. Baby steps, get you into it. Number two is lesson two, assemblies. The main thing with SOLIDWORKS, you create your parts, and then you bring them together in an assembly file. That assembly file is your gateway to creating beautiful products that can move, that can relate to each other. Uh, very important second introductory baby step into SOLIDWORKS. And then we start to get into some of the tutorials more specific for product or industrial designers. Number three, fillets. Every little product you pick up, any of those sharp edges that might have been there after production, fill it. Number four, loss. Loss let you create more organic type shapes. The loss tutorial introduces you to creating shapes more complex than a straight extrude or revolve with paths and profiles. Lesson number five, multi-body parts. Multi-body parts is where you're starting to step into some more advanced territory where you're creating multiple bodies in one single SOLIDWORKS part file. That is the way that many designers would work when they're creating their complex geometry and parts to see how everything relates together before splitting it later and moving it into an assembly. Lesson number six, revolves and sweeps. Similar to lofts and fillets, some of the fundamentals in SOLIDWORKS part and design building, very useful tutorial to show you the basics of those elements. Number seven, if not the most important, at least top two out of this top 10 list, surfacing. Surfacing shows you how you can take a series of sketches and profiles and planes and turn them into a full product, okay? Just from a few little sketches in different places. Shows you the powerful tools that are available to split surfaces, to do loss between them, to add tangencies, and then finally go from a surface to a solid body. Number eight on the top 10 list, pattern features. So often you will create in your designs an element of pattern, whether it be a texture, okay, some kind of grip, all right, some, some, some kind of um, element that is repeated across faces or sides of a, of a product. Um, understanding how to use the pattern feature will save you lots of time from creating repeat uh, features. Lesson number nine, right up there with surfaces, is 3D sketches and 3D sketches with planes. So not everything you create, product design-wise, is going to be made of flat sketches on 2D planes. Sometimes, regularly, when you're getting into more advanced design, you will need to work more in three dimensions with the geometry that you're setting up and creating and using to develop those products. And then finally, number 10, we finish with assembly mates. It's one of the key components of SOLIDWORKS. That's where you bring everything together. So all your beautiful part designs, your detailed parts, with advanced assemblies and assembly mates, you can see how they function, how they work together, how the movement works. And in that tutorial, that shows you from some existing parts, how you can bring everything together and use mates to line everything up beautifully. Now, what you won't get if you just run through these tutorials on your own is one-to-one -one guidance from an expert, as well as a few little tips that SOLIDWORKS left out of these tutorials. So I encourage you to watch my playlist here for those top 10 videos. I've gone through each of those tutorials and done them step by step, cutting out the steps you don't need, filling you in where those tutorials haven't been updated for years, and creating a cohesive introduction to the basics of SOLIDWORKS. So what I suggest now, follow the links above or in the description below, get started on the playlist. If you've already completed some of the tutorials, fantastic. You can skip them or watch them and see what little tips or tricks you missed out on. If you're just getting started with SOLIDWORKS, watch them from the start. The entire playlist is just under three hours of content, which will set you up for starting to tackle some of the more introductory projects as you start building out your SOLIDWORKS experience. What do you think of this top 10 list? What have I missed? What other tutorials that are in built in SOLIDWORKS do you want to see me run through? Leave a comment below for anything you think I've missed and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching. 
See you next time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and found something new to enhance your SOLIDWORKS skills. Don't forget to subscribe to Fully Defined for more tutorials, tips and insights from a certified SOLIDWORKS expert. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, leave a comment below. I read all comments and love hearing your feedback. Remember, with the right skills and tools, you can turn your design dreams into reality. Keep modeling, keep learning, and always fully defined.